In my last video covering my east coast road trip, I talked about the travel days and our setbacks to start the trip. Although the trip got off to a rocky start, we were hopeful that our days to the parks ahead were still going to make the whole trip worth it in the end. After driving about 8 hours straight from Georgia to Ohio, we finally made it to our first park of the trip. Although it wasn't necessarily supposed to be, the first park of the trip ended up being Kings Island, which if you ask me really isn't a bad way to start the trip. This was my second visit to the park, with my first coming in August 2021. On my first visit, I was absolutely blown away. It was my first ever solo trip to a park outside my home state and I immediately fell in love. The park did not disappoint during this visit either. Visiting on a Tuesday in mid-June this time around, I did not expect for lines to be very bad, which they were not at all. Almost everything was a walk-on. We started off the day with a front row ride on Diamondback. It was a morning ride and I knew it wasn't warmed up at all, so I walked away from Diamondback telling myself that I need to get some back row rides later on in the day. After Diamondback, we headed towards the new Area 72 section of the park to get some rides on Orion. We sat in the first row as I distinctly remembered how much fun I had in the front row last year. Now that I experienced Fury just a couple months before this trip, I was excited to get the chance to compare the two. Not too much surprise, I found Orion to be weaker than Fury. With that being said, Orion is still a great ride. I love the sense of speed in the front row and the airtime towards the back is still great, and overall the ride is just pure fun. After getting a couple more rides on Orion, we decided to just work our way around the park pretty slowly. We rode Fly to Fear, Adventure Express, The Racer, The Bat, Backlot Stunt Coaster, and Banshee within about 3 hours. It was getting around 2.30ish when we started realizing why the park was so empty. The heat was getting pretty brutal reaching a high of almost 100 degrees, and it was requiring us to take frequent breaks whenever we found somewhere with solid AC. It even led to us hanging out in one of the arcades for a bit longer than we had initially anticipated. Later on in the afternoon, after lunch, we stopped by Mystic Timbers and the Beast. I liked Mystic Timbers last season, but this time around it just didn't do much for me. The Beast, on the other hand, I was thoroughly impressed with. Before they announced the retrack, I had no intentions of riding it again, especially with the pain it left me in my back last time I rode it. But I was actually able to enjoy the ride this time around as it ran much smoother. On our way out, we made sure to get a couple more rides in Diamondback in the back row which ended up solidifying Diamondback as my number one BNM Hyper. Despite its slight rattle, the ride delivers an awesome amount of airtime, and I just love the whip over the first drop and the camelbacks in the back row. After Diamondback, we stopped and got some merch before hitting the road to head up to Cedar Point. Here are some of my final thoughts on Kings Island. This is definitely an elite amusement park. I still can't decide whether I like it more than Cedar Point, with the only difference being their coaster lineups but Kings Island has wildly better operations. Most of their coasters are usually operational when I am at the park, and if they aren't, team members are working diligently to get them up and running. Even on a slow day at the park like it was this day, they were running two to three trains, which really shows their commitment to maximizing capacity as much as possible. The ride operators are friendly, helpful, and efficient. Being that it is a Cedar Fair park, I can also appreciate how great their merch is. I just love the vibe at this park, and it's always a pleasure to visit, so I can't wait to get back soon. For the final ride counts, we ended the day with 4 on Diamondback, 4 on Orion, 1 on Banshee, 1 on Mystic Timbers, 1 on The Bat, 1 on Adventure Express, 1 on The Racer, 1 on Backlot Sun Coaster, 1 on The Beast, and 1 on Flight of Fear. This park day, despite the excessive heat, was one of my favorite days of the trip and it definitely helped us remember what the trip was all about to get our mind off the troubles that we have been dealing with. So what are your thoughts on Kings Island? Do you prefer it over Cedar Point or is it just another Cedar Fair Park? Let me know in the comments below. As for my days at Cedar Point, I'm going to make a separate video for that park. With two days at the park, I want to make sure that I covered everything and give my full experience in its own separate video. With that, I'm Sean from East Coast Amusements, and I'll see you guys in the next one.